Drivers, start your engines! Hello YouTube, this is NASCAR 48W2 Buff here with the Ina World Dorsal Cup Series. Here for Kansas at race 19, we are getting ever so closer to the chase. It's go time now for a lot of drivers. Joseph Bryant got the pole. Remember last week, he had a tough week last week at a track that is a lot like this, which is Chicagoland. Then we're here at Kansas, and then we go to Las Vegas. So a lot of one and a half milers right here for this three race span. Then we have uh, Tyson Broad on the outside of um, Joseph Bryant. Then we have a man that's been lurking in the points ever since the start of the year. Dylan Young, fifth in points, been lurking right back up there. He's trying to come away with the championship, but lock him, but trying to lock himself into the chase because it's starting to become go time, like I said. Then we have Drew Austin right there and Caitlin Skipper, a season one champion. Then we have Brian James, your points leader, starting sixth here. He's had a strong car all year, but it looks like he's starting to falter as Gene Samper, who is starting 10th, is going to try to take that points lead away. And then Seth Cole, who is 6th in points, he's not too far. Then we have Jacob Lawler, 4th in points, and David Rochester, 3rd in points. So it looks like we have all of our, all of the people up in the top 10 in points, mostly inside the top 15. But we're going to go to the green here for our Memorial Weekend special, or doubleheader for all three series this weekend. Also, on lap 27, we will have a moment, a moment of silence lap to honor all of our troops. Joseph Bryant already out to a good lead. Here comes Dylan Young on the inside trying to get the extra bonus points for leading a lap. But Caitlin Skipper also wants to lead it. They, it's a drag race off the corner. Looks like the outside line gets a pretty good run off that corner, but it's just not enough right there. Dylan Young still couldn't get to the bottom. Close draw there. But he's going to go flying by the 21 this time. Oh, they're going to go four wide off the corner. That may not work. Seth Cole right in the middle of that. But they somehow got it through. They were staggered four wide. And they're going to get to work. Sean Galligan here in third. He had an event, eventful week last week. Spun out, I think, twice and got stuck in about three, four wides. Ooh, Caitlin Skipper and Tyson Broad falling back fast. They see George Roke up here who had a heartbreak race last week. He had that one, but... The lap cars of Charles Jackson and Sam Young just wouldn't allow him to get that win. Let's check out on last week's winner. Dylan White hasn't really had the qualifying this year, but he's up here in 35th, slowly trying to work his way through the field to get up front and maybe try to go for two in a row here at these, here in the Dorsal Cup Series. It's like mostly double file throughout the field here. Oh, William Duncan going to make a power move on Gene Sanford. And go flying by and take the fifth position, I think. No, the fourth position. But it looks like it's a three-car breakaway from the rest of the field. Joseph Broughton has a strong car because he took the lead back from Dylan Young. Sean Galligan going to work his way to the second. And it looks like they might start to spread out here. It looks like that 21 is a fast car, and you can tell he has the fastest lap right now. But that 31 is Sean Galligan. We all know him. He's not going to let him get it that easily. And look at the move he got to his back bumper. But now he's under fire from Dylan Young. Will he try to make a three wide possibly? No, he won't. Dylan Young going to fall back in line. Here comes the 31 to the inside. Remember, the, the outside line gets a real good run off of four. And the 21's holding up pretty well right there. But it might change when we're going into this corner now. Yes, the 31 going to easily get by. Same with Dylan Young. He's going to do the same and try to make a power move on the 31 now. Now here comes Dylan Young for the lead. He wants those extra bonus points. And caution is out. This is the race back to the line. And it looks like Sean Galligan will lead us back to the line here at Kansas. Oh, Sean Henley, 11th in points. He's involved. That's going to hurt him real bad. Heavy damage. Tristan Trivet heavy damage. Another hard wreck for Tristan Trivet this week. And Brian James may have got a piece right there because he was way in the back now. 
Wait, is that Jean Sanford with damage? Jean Sanford has a lot of damage on the left side of her car. Wow. Jean Sanford up there in points. That is a heartbreak. Second in points. Got nailed in the left side, it looks like. Caitlin Skipper has damage. William Duncan has damage. Oh, this looks like a big wreck, too. It's a pretty big wreck. No one's coming down pit road for pit stops, but we will take you to see what happened. Looks like this is where it started. Uh, no, someone got spun up there and there's a wreck over here. This was kind of a big pileup, but not really. It's mostly just everybody trying to slow down. Oh, there's where Sean Henley got his damage, yeah. And, oh, this is actually kind of a big pileup here. So this is where it started with Henry Sanford, I believe. Yes. Four wide off this corner with Robbie Noonan. He's going to get into the 98. Oh, Jacob Lawler's up there in points. He got a pretty good piece of that. Oh, that's actually going to hurt his car. And there goes William Duncan going to slam into him. Kind of just stacks up the field over here. Down on the Gene Samper who gets nailed by Sean Henley. And then Tristan Trivet. They both slide up into the outside wall. Ooh, Duncan got another piece of it. Jake Baskager did a nice job. William Duncan slowed down enough. Oh, Brian James almost got involved. Now here's where the second wreck happened. These four to getting together, trying to slow down. Jake Rogers gets into the 88. Two gets into the 48. Oh, Dylan White gets a piece of that. It's amazing how much your luck can change. But Dylan White should be pretty okay here. Kind of a minor wreck. Wasn't really big damage. Mostly cars just spinning. Wait, how much damage did Dylan White get? Just looking from here, it looks like he got a lot. Oh! Oh, yeah. Dylan White does have a good amount of damage right there. Tough break for Dylan White, but we'll take you back to the green here at Kansas. We are back. We have two retired cars, the 78 and the 88. And... Man, uh, some chase I mean, chase contenders involved in that. Sean Galligan is here is first. Dylan Young second. Joseph Bryant third. Jacob Sisko fighting for that wild card spot fourth. And Trek Togger fifth. We'll take you back to the green here at Kansas as green, green, green is back out here at Kansas on race 19. And Sean Galligan got an amazing start right there. Now, it seems like these three cars right here may be the cars to beat. They seem pretty fast. As I have a feeling they'll break right away from the field again. Dylan Young. And I, like I said, he's been lurking back there all season in points. Now it's his time to strike and maybe pick up a win or two here. We know he's good on these mile and a half tracks. No wins this season, but the way his finishes have been, he's right there in fifth waiting. And he's going to go right to the inside of the 31. You can really see that he just got a heck of a run on the 31. 31's getting help from the 21, though. As the 50 going to try to get the run, but look at the 31 come on the outside, all the way through the corner. And the 50 cannot do the move right there. Ooh, Gene Samper's off the pace. Henry Samper. William Duncan is off the pace. Caitlin, yeah, it looks like some of these cars back here are pretty much off the pace. Well, Robbie Noonan comes in the third, passing the 21. He finished uh, fourth last week at, <clears throat> at Chicago Land, so he's pretty good on these mile and a half. Looking to pick up a win here for Joe Gibbs. Each of his Joe Gibbs teammates have a win. Drew, Drew Austin at New Hampshire and Jake Baskinger at Darlington. Robbie Noonan, the only one without a win on the Joe Gibbs side. Speaking of teams... Oh, wait, Jacob Lawler has damage, and he just came out of pit road. Oh, he's up there in points. He's fourth in points. Oh, that's a tough break for Jacob Lawler. I don't, I didn't, I don't recall him being in that last wreck. But apparently he lo was, and he had some trouble. Back to what I was saying. Speaking of dream teams, checking on Roush, which has been... Oh, the oh, the one just got turned into the wall by the 18. Well, 
Austin Ogle just got turned into the wall by the 18 of Jake Baskiger. Find the dream team here. Speaking of dream team, oh, three of them right here in one spot. Jack Richards, Dylan Poteet, uh, Aaron Williams. Oh, and I think caution now. Yes, it is. And Kyle Stewart. Roush has been the dominant team both years, it seems like. They're, I mean, they're pretty good this season. They have Aaron Williams in victory lane. Same with the 99, Jack Richards. But there's there seems to be some other teams that are starting to verse them here. And caution is out for what? Oh, Gene Sanford in another rack. And same with George Roke, last week's runner-up. Brian James in the rack also. Brian James got heavy damage now, and your points leader is having trouble. Same with your runner-up. Jake Baskiger has damage. Austin Ogo has more. Jake Rogers. Henry Samper and Drew Austin. I think they got some. Oh, and the 14 just got spun out coming on the pit road, and the 15 gonna nail him. Wow. Dylan White was not happy with the 14 of Charles Sanford. And Charles Sanford just slammed into the 34. Wow, some rivalries right now. We will take it at see the Battle of Pit Road here. So I think it's going to be that 31 machine. No, it's going to be Robbie Noonan going to win the Battle of Pit Road. With Dylan White going to, I think, get second here. Nope, the 50 beat him out for a second. Robbie Noonan I'm going to win the Battle of Pit Road, and we'll take it to see what happened. We are back again. The 12's in the wall. That's kind of separate. Oh, the 51 just comes up into the 2, and right into the 1 he goes. Same with the 18 getting collected, and oh, that 1 card just got sandwiched. 2 going to go around, 51 going to go back around, the 1 going to get back into the 2. 12's going to run into the back of the 18 there. 51 continues to spin. Then there's the one's damage. Then that's where the twelve gets most of his damage, and someone Gene Samper gonna come and oh, Samper gonna kill the twelve car basically. And slides right back up, and I think clips the eighteen. No, she doesn't. But that was just a wreck right there. See how you know fully how Gene Samper. She's coming by and just couldn't get down low enough and just nailed him. We will take you back to the green here from Kansas. We are back, and we have a couple more retired cars. The 10, the 12, 18. Charles Sanford went a lap down, and Austin Ogo also went a lap down. And the 47 of Jacob Lawler's on the tail end of the lead lap. Robbie Noonan is first. Dylan Young second. Dylan White third, but he has that damage, though. Sean Galligan fourth, and Andreas Allen rounding out the top five. We're back to the green here at Kansas. Well, it looks like the 10 chose to go with the... I mean, the 50 chose to go with the high side with the 47, and it didn't work out too well off that corner. 47 seems a, a kind of up to speed. Not really, but partially. 50 going to try to get under him here and zoom by him. Yeah, 47 is not entirely up to speed here. As they got held up by the lap car, the uh, 11 of Robbie Noonan tried to run away with the lead. And, oh, he got real loose through that corner, which allowed the 50 and the 31 to catch up. And how about Zachary Buckeye? He's pretty up there in points. He's up here in fourth with the rookie of James Silverfox right behind him. Then we have another rookie, Kyle Stewart in the sixth. Like I said, Roush has been really good for the past two years. Dylan Young still trying to battle back on that outside, but it looks like it is not going to work. Going to lose a couple or so positions here. They are still trying to reel in the 11, and the 3 gets into the 31, but they keep it going. Man, Joan Galligan's had a crazy past two weeks. Just about got turned many times in these past two races. Now they're going three wide under him, and he almost got turned again. He still continues the battle for second, but it looks like he lost it now due to the fact that the six was helping the three. And we have a three wide going into this turn. 
Oh, they have another 3-1. They're, they're beating there. They're rubbing and racing. The 56 is going to be the benefactor of that. 43 just got sandwiched. Two Best Buy cars running next to each other. Eric Williams trying to work his way inside the top 10. And now these two are battling as Robbie Noonan tries to run away with the lead right now. As he has about almost a half a second lead over second place, Kyle Stewart. Battle for third. Now here comes uh, Sean Galligan. Going to zoom by the three for third. Easily zoom by the three. And I think the caution is out. No, it is not. Thought it's so caution lights on. But Kyle Stewart is starting to reel in the 11. The 11 of Robbie Noonan, a seasoned veteran in the Dorsal Cup Series. But the rookie is running him down. And look at the run the rookie is getting behind him. As it's Ford versus Toyota. And Roush wants to pick up their third win of the season. Yeah, the third one of the season. Oh, and caution lights are on now. I, I, They were definitely on that time. Yes, they were. This is the race back to the line. Here comes the six on the inside of the 11. Does he have enough speed? No, he is not. Robbie Noonan going to lead us back to the line here at Kansas. With Zachary Buckeye taking third, Sam Young fourth, and Joseph Bryant fifth. Oh, Drew Ross involved. Jacob Sisko involved. Both of these drivers were both battling for wild card spots. Brian James involved again. Oh, Charles Sanford, James Silverfox, John Wills. This looks like a pretty big wreck. William Duncan. Tyson Brawl. Yeah, that this was definitely a pretty big wreck right here. But we will take you to see what happened. We are back. It's a three wide battling through this corner now. What happened here? Oh, there you see the 31 of... Oh, wait. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so, the 3 wide... Oh, the 5 gets into the 73, uh, which sends him to 13 up in the wall. And, oh, Silver Fox took a nail of a hit. 73 up into the wall. Then, it looks like maybe the 13 came back down. Yes, 13 came right back down into them. Sends the 13 right back up into the wall in front of the 73. You see the 20 spinning. Gonna get a piece of the wall now. Definitely a lot. Oh, here comes William Duncan and gonna nail the 73. 73 just lifted up and I almost flipped right there. Here comes Charles Sanford gonna nail the 13 and the 20 is gonna go for a barrel roll here. Maybe a couple here. That's 20 is gonna barrel roll right there. And John Wilson just nailed the. Oh, he hit him in the worst spot too. Oh. Just probably blew apart some pieces of that car. Here comes Brian James now into the mix. And he's going to just knock it by the 19 there. I'm going to nail the 83 in the back. But we will take you on board with the 20 machine. Then we'll take you back to the green flag. We will take you back to the green flag here from <coughs> Kansas. We are back some new retired cars. The 14, 15, 13, 19, 20, 73, and 51 have all retired. Robbie Noonan is your leader. Kyle Stewart second. Zachary Buckeye third. Sam Young fourth. Joseph Bryant fifth. Since our <coughs> silent lap was under caution, we're going to do our silent lap now. And thank you for that moment of silence. Robbie Noonan has opened up his lead again. He's been strong. He has... Oh! Oh, the, the 47 just got into the 6, which got the 6 out of the groove, and he's going to lose a couple positions right here. 
Wow, just by a lap car, and caution is out, actually. And this is the race back to the line. Well, three wide off the corner here. Race back to the line. Robbie Noonan will lead Sam Young second. And Aaron Williams, I think, just got third. No, he got fourth. Oh, and the 31 gets into the wall right there, trying to slow down. Oh, Andreas Allen, Tony Blazer, Austin Oak, I mean, Olga Ogo, Tyson Broad, Trek Talker, Henry Sanford. We'll take you to see what happened. So everybody's all stacked up here. It looks like the 56 gets into the 1, and it looks like they may have had it saved. But until they hit the 39, who goes right up into the 42, and the 98 almost got passed. Oh, the 42 actually went the flip there. trying to slow down and then here comes the 55 and he almost flipped and around they go there oh and there's the 83 getting his piece let's take it on board here with the 42 then we'll take it to the last couple of laps here from Kansas Last few or so laps here from Kansas. And we are back. There's mm, one new retired car, Trek Togger. The one has went two laps down the 47. is one lap down the 98 of Andreas Allen is on the tail end of the lead lap. Robbie Noonan is your leader. Sam Young second. Uh, Sean Galligan third. Aaron Williams fourth. And Zachary Buckeye fifth. And that 98 is real slow, as you can tell now. And they're going to zoom by him here. And, ooh, the 31 is stuck. Is three wide with all of them. Here comes the three. Oh, Aaron Williams is the unbenefactor that he's going to get stuck behind both of them, it looked like. And everybody's going to shoot right by him. He might want to get to the inside line here soon. And, yes, he will. Oh, no, no, he won't. A lot of cars getting held up. But we're going to have a challenge for the lead. Sam Young, who was having trouble last week at Chicago, which is a lot like this, is battling for the lead here at Kansas. As Sean Galligan ain't too far behind, trying to be a rookie, that a replacement driver to make the chase. Um, oh, he went way too deep in that corner. Sean Galligan trying to be the first to make history to be the first replacement driver to ever make the chase. In the eye in a world. Well, that 28 is still working on the 11 there. The 11 slipped up for a second. Here comes the 28 to the inside. But the 11's going to block, but can't all the way get down there. As here comes the 28 to the inside. As we are still green, they're, they're going to blow by the 11. Charles Jackson on the apron there. And now here comes the 31 for the lead. Don't forget about the 6, that Roush car. And then there's another Roush car of Jack Richards about to break the top 5. I mean, the top 4. And Leo Rogers, your Daytona winner. But the 31 goes to the inside of the 28, trying to lead this lap, but can't do it. The 28's going to get the lead the lap. But the 6 is going to make a 3 wide. This may end up horribly. Oh, he's going to get into him. And the 31's going to get loose. And both Roush cars are going to go 1-2 around the track now. But here comes the 99th lead. As we are still green. The Sixers battling back on that outside line. He's going to get the run here. Will it be enough? Going to lead the lap. But coming in this corner, I don't think he'll have enough to maybe hold the lead. Yes, he won't. And here comes the 22 now with the 3. Not too far behind. The 22 won Daytona trying to get his second win of the season, Leo Rogers. And the 3 is Zachary Buckeye trying to get his first. How about David Rochester? He's finished second many times. He's up here. Where did he come from? He wants to attempt to maybe get the win. But the 22 going to blow by the 99. Same with the 3. I think it's going to be between these 3. I don't think anybody else has a chance of catching these guys. Oh, the three slides high. Same with the 99. The 22 has some breathing room. 
And I don't think anybody's going to catch a 22 unless they make a real power move through this corner. No, they won't. The 3 cannot pull off a move on the 22. And the 22 of Leo Rogers will get a second one of the season here at Kansas. Where in the hell did Leo Rogers come from to win this race? It does say he had the fastest lap, but where did he come from to win this race? Wow. He did it at Daytona, and he did it here at Chicago. Where did he come from to win this? Just wow. Leo Rogers is going to win it here at Kansas for Dodge. One of the only Dodge cars left. We will take you to your race results. And we are back. Leo Rogers got the win and only led two laps. Zachary Buckeye second. Jack Richards third. David Rochester fourth. Robbie Noonan fifth. Uh, Jeffrey Buckeye sixth. Kyle Stewart seventh. Dylan Young eighth. Dylan Poteet ninth. And Aaron Williams tenth. And I don't know if you noticed this. But all four Roush cars finished in the top ten. Jack Richards third, Kyle Stewart seventh, Dylan Poti ninth, and Aaron Williams tenth. They all got the top ten. Great run by all of Roush right there. We would take you to see the rest of the results. And now, we will see you next week at Las Vegas, Nevada. That's going to be a breakfast. And how about this? David Rochester going to take the points lead by 53 points over Dylan Young. It looks like Dylan Young's starting to come on strong. Brian James going to drop back to third. Zachary Buckeye going to take fourth. Seth Cole, fifth. Gene Sanford, sixth. Jacob Lawler, seventh. And how about Leo Rogers and Jake Rogers? Both of the brothers, ninth and tenth. They're inside the top ten here. Yes, they are, and it looks like a lot of drivers are just fighting for these wild cards. Like, look at these names. You got Jacob Sisko, Dylan White, Jack Richards, William Duncan, Drew Austin, Sean Henley, last season champion Caitlin Skipper, Tyson Broad, Charles Sanford, and Robbie Noonan. Look at that. What a run by these drivers. I mean, those are some big names right there battling for the wild card spots. And you can see all these rookies inside the top 10, but it looks like the two veterans are going to hold off against those rookies and try to keep the points lead in veteran hands. But again, we will see you next week at Las Vegas.